Eric Ten Hag finally had a meeting with Enios, the group that's bought a 25% stake in Man United. Unfortunately for me, being a fan of Man United, I would have preferred a full sale. But unfortunately, we're stuck with Sir Jim, the Rat Ratcliffe, who's now got 25% ownership of the club, which basically means that he has now the sporting um, authority or decision making, um, you know, um, rights in his arm, because that's essentially what the deal that they did. The deal that they did is that for 25%, um, Jim Ratcliffe and his consortium or his group group of people are going to be the ones in charge of all sporting decisions at the club now on paper that should be a good thing because one of the things that's people like myself and other fans have been decrying was that our structure as a football club is all over the place we are mostly a commercial club we don't really care about sporting success and a lot of the struggles that we've had can be laid at the feet of our owners and their inability or their flat out refusal to get with the times fix up our football structure and get us pointed in the right direction that's why many fans like myself want the Glazers gone um, we wanted a full sale whoever it was even if it was Sir Jim or it was a Qatari group we didn't fucking care we wanted a full sale so that we could have a fresh start because now we're like what two decades of the Glazers ownership and without the you know magic of Sir Alex Ferguson what we've basically seen is that without good football structure you really have no chance of being a successful football club so as Ferguson is and you know was and is one of the greatest managers of all time obviously we'll go down as United's great manager of all time he was able to succeed in spite of the Glazers now that we've seen that he's stepped away from the club every other manager that's come after him has failed really um to get us back where we belong and I think most of the reason because of that will be yes we have maybe had some dodgy manager of choices but it's because the football structure isn't where it needs to be so Jim Ratcliffe has come in he's decided to get control of the football structure and now um he's had a meeting allegedly with Eric Ten Hag where Eric Ten Hag has said the meeting was quite positive so this is courtesy of MU MUFC MPB on Twitter and the quote from Eric Ten Hag was as follows Eric Ten Hag on the Enios meeting he said very positive we had a long meeting many hours we sat together on many issues we were on the same page very constructive um so for me I'm a little bit concerned about it because I personally am one of the people that feels like Eric Ten Hag should get sacked just because of how poor we've been playing and mostly as a punishment for how he sold us a dream um with his football he played at Ajax and how they were basically constructed ever since he's come to United it's been an absolute horror show we play terribly we've got terrible results we're in a lowly position in the flipping league we're out of most of the cup competition reception the FA Cup and things are not getting better and of course the transfer market dealings from him have been absolutely shocking also so I feel like there should be some consequences for how terrible we've been playing the fact that he's fallen out with players he's in game management all this sort of stuff should be punished but i also feel like the players are the ones that are mostly to blame as much as the owners have been terrible i feel like we've had the same group of players who've been stinking up the place who'd had way too much power who earn way too much money considering how lowly we are as a club who should be the ones getting a boot so i'm more than willing and happy to see those players be given a boot and maybe let Everton Hart kind of see out the season and go from there but if we keep performing terribly then of course he's going to force the owner's hands and he's definitely going to go the only thing I don't want to see is of course an interim manager duo of fucking Darren Fletcher and Steve McLaren which will end up happening if we do sack Ayrton Hag until the end of the season and then there's also a prospect for those kind of fans out there that don't like Ayrton Hag there's also the very scary prospect that if we do sack Ayrton Hag and we don't get an interim there is a prospect that flipping what's his name um that Graham Potter the former manager of Brighton and Chelsea might end up being our coach because there's rumors coming out there that Enios have sounded him out and shit so it's it's not looking great for being a United fan. Now, the other thing that's very concerning is this news, courtesy, courtesy of MUFC MPP. Ayrton Hag on contract extensions. He says, we're talking to Rafa Varane, Anthony Martial, and we triggered the options of Aaron Wambasaka, Victor Lindelof, and Hannibal Medry. So if you know anything about United, you know that our squad is very much in need of a clear out. We need to get most of these players out of our club. We need to have a clean sweep and start again to rebuild from the bottom. And it will require some very tough decisions to be made, some very ruthless decisions to get us to rebuild the squad because there's players there from like three or four managers ago that probably need to be moved on and players who have necessarily haven't fulfilled their potential and we just need a restart. I'm worried now 
that we're already discussing contract extensions with the like of Varane, who I'm a fan of, but I still think a tough decision needs to be made to get, let him go. Anthony Martial, I'm, another person I'm a fan of as a player, but he hasn't fulfilled his potential. He's injured too often, even though this season he's been fairly fit and I think he's just ill and stuff, but I would like to move on from him. And even the likes of um, Aaron Wan-Bissaka and, Aaron Win and, and Victor Lindelof. I feel like all of those players should be getting let go. I don't feel like we should be contract get contestation for any of those players. I feel like if anything, Ineos as a group should be making sure this summer that everybody um, contract situation gets assessed all together in the summer and then we decide what happens going forward i don't think because some people's contracts are ending or you know it's approaching that one year mark that we should just trigger the extension that shouldn't be how we deal with things we should be looking at assessing every single player in that squad or every member of that fucking first team from the backroom team also in the summer it shouldn't be doing it shouldn't be done now i think everybody should be playing for their future for for lack of a better term and then we kind of you know look at things in the summer and decide where we're gonna go there the fact that we're still deciding to keep the likes of Varan, Martial, um, AWB, and fucking Lindelof is a sign that nothing really has changed. Nothing really has changed. We're still stuck in the same position that we're in, and most likely we're still going to be seeing these same trashy players like McTominay, like Luke Shaw, like Bruno Fernandez, like Marcus Rashford be the linchpin of our club, you know, going into the next season. That's the really sad and depressing part of being a United fan. But hey, I guess it is what it is. But then the final news here, we've got news courtesy of um, the same page regarding Jaden Sancho's loan to Borussia Dortmund. He's going to go back there for the next six months. Um, the quote from Ayrton Hag is, I can't say anything about that. We have to wait to see how things are going. When we have news, we'll tell you. Obviously, for the player, I'm happy for him. Selfishly, for me, being a Jaden Sancho, Sancho fan, sorry, and obviously not the biggest Ayrton Hag fan, I would have much preferred to see Ayrton Hag get fired and then see Jadon Sancho get brought back into the team but that's not going to be happening so for him personally it's a nice chance to go to back to a, a team and a country that he had a lot of joy in to be able to play with a team and um, obviously that he kind of clicks with and the management structure and the coaching ability whatever it may be and obviously in a league that he obviously did very, did very well, well in get his confidence back and maybe put himself in a shop window most likely the club will try to get him back again but I think regardless of what happened to Eric Ten Hag if I was Jadon Sancho I'll be looking for a permanent move away from United um, the transfer hasn't worked out for for whoever's you know you could decide whose fault it is maybe some blame does lie on Jaden Sancho's feet for not making himself indispensable but regardless as the transfer United didn't work out as we all liked it all hoped it would we chased him for a long time it kind of you know flattered to deceive and I feel like he should jump now before he ends up being another Pogba before he ends up getting tied down to a long contract at United and then the next time he turns around he's already 28 and time has fucking slipped by I really do think he should leave sooner than rather than later if i was him but again what do i know what do i know and then of course finally united news i was just wanting to mention that i am worried i am about the fa cup game against wigan on monday fa cup game against wigan on monday i'm very very worried about that game even though wigan have a very terrible record so far in terms of the last what six or so games it's one draw three losses one win and then that's yeah, what's that two draws uh three losses and one win right so not the best um flipping record and if you look at the table of where wigan are in league one right this is the yeah football league one which is like two divisions down for the premier league wigan are 17th they're in 17th position but I'm honestly envisioning a, a scenario where this team Wigan who are playing in the second division of the English Football League will end up beating us in the FA Cup. I've just got a feeling. I've got a bad feeling about this um, on the game on Monday. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. <laughs> 